Hello, in this video I'd like to introduce you to CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Uh, and let me break this down word by word. So cascading means um, from top to bottom. It also means from uh, top of the hierarchy down through the children. Um, and it also means from less specific to more specific. And we'll get into this in more detail uh, in future videos. Style refers to the visual representation of the screen. And sheets refers to how the CSS is usually handled, which is as a separate file that is linked through the head of the um, HTML, which we'll look at also in another video. So to get the ball rolling, we are going to look at inline styles. So if I go to my code here, uh, this is where we left off. Um, and I'm going to start by changing the color of my uh, title here. <clears throat> um, and not this title. This title is what's happening up here, the title we actually see on the page. So in my h1 tag, I'm going to say die. Style attribute equals, I'm going to say color. Um, I don't know why it's not text color, it's called color. And let's say chartreuse. Ooh. Okay, chartreuse, great. Um, and then semicolon. And I'm going to save this. And reload it. Oh, yay! Oh my god, that's awful. Um, let's see, let's try something else. How about purple? Yeah, okay, cool. So um so let's see what's happening here. Um we have the style attribute, and then in there there's a property, in this case color. There's a colon and then a value. So property, value. Or what property do you want to alter? Then a value and then a semicolon, which completes the line and completes the assignment. We can also add other properties to change. So for example, I can say font size. colon uh, 60 semicolon save and reload and then here it works um, you know and it's improper it's important to note that um, if I reduced if I got rid of the semicolon it would work right because it doesn't have that property value pairing uh, anymore. So let's look at another one. Um, let's say I want this paragraph to be style equals um, color blue. Um, and then we'll say font family of sans serif Get that and what you know what did it do here for us actually um i auto completed the code and it kind of jumped ahead to something i'm not quite interested in doing just yet so let me We're just going to stick with sans serif for now. Blue sans serif, reload, and there it is. We can also um, leverage um, the cascading power of CSS by altering the tags higher up in the hierarchy. So for example, if I went in my body tag here, 
and said style equals background color. And we'll do uh, dark gray. This one. And hit save. That color is going to propagate through all the things underneath. Um, we could even, so for example, if I got rid of this um, style on my paragraph tag here, and then we went over here, so let's just save that, reset, make sure everything's working, and um, if I added a color for my font here of let's say white it would update the text of each of the things further down the h1 tag is more specific so it's keeping the purple so if i went over here and i said style color Aqua and saved it. It's going to be more specific and it's going to override um, the style that's coming further up.